What's up YouTube? Welcome back to yet another Pokemon trading card game unboxing and pack opening and boy what a day We just got back from our pre-release as you can tell you uh, we have the pre-release box Which is opened and we have all these cards, so uh, Make sure you guys do check that video out. I don't know how I'm gonna actually do that video uh, Because it was really noisy, and I wasn't able to record properly um, I might just go through all the cards and show you guys a deck recap of what I actually used. Uh, just know that we did pull a full art, so uh, stay tuned for that video. This video is going to come out before that video, so hopefully you guys get a chance to check that one out. Uh, again, thank you guys so much for coming out, and uh, let's see how we did. So, basically how it went, you pl we played four rounds. Uh, the four rounds uh, we played, I won three out of the four rounds, and each round you won, you got a pack. So we have a total of one, two, three rounds we won, and we get two bonus packs, one for just signing up, and then the owner was nice to give us an extra pack. So we have a total of five packs, one of each pack art, and then also two of that pack art. So let's get right into this and uh, see what we can pull. This is going to be kind of one, hopefully a shorter video. Um, let's take a look at the back of this card for you guys, since this is the first one we actually have. Island Guardians ready for battle and go ahead and pause that if you want to take a look at that uh, We'll get an in-depth look on all of it here in just a second And that's what the back looks like completely and this is what the front looks like uh, one of Got the Lycanroc there midnight form dropping my post office box. We have Tappy Coco uh, That's what this one looks like We have the Alolan Ninetales which is very, very awesome. And then I do not know how to pronounce his name. It's like Komomomo or whatever. Whatever it is. Uh, let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite pack art. I'm going to have to say it's probably the Lycanroc or the Tappy Coco just because I love those two. Don't get me wrong, I love all of them. Uh, but Lycanroc is probably my favorite one out of all of them. But let's get right into this without further ado. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. If you are excited for Guardians Rising, which will be releasing shortly, uh, if you did not get a chance to get to a pre-release today, um, this is going up on Sunday. My pre-release was Saturday, uh, but I was busy and, uh, you know, a lot's going on, so I'm not going to be able to make the video. Uh, I'm making the video tonight, and then I'll post it tomorrow, if that makes sense. So the pack trick is still the same. It is four and two. There is no break cards or anything like that crazy. We're going to take our time revealing these cards because this is the first time some of you may have seen this. We have Phantom with the has Mimiku right in the back, which is cool. We have Tallow. Walmer. Whalmer. We have a Trubbish. A Jengamo. Oh. A Fire Energy. A Hakumo. Oh. A Whimsicott. A Vanellish, our reverse is a reverse Jengmomo, and our rare is a Oricorio. Man, some of these names are a pain to pronounce. Hopefully we do pull something good out of these five blister packs. Uh, not blister packs, single packs. Uh, they, they came from a booster box, a sealed booster box. I watched the guy open it up. Uh, but if you guys did go to a pre-release, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, one, what is your favorite pack art? And two, um, how did you do in your pre-release? How was it? What did you guys do? Did you guys play best of four or something like that? Uh, in mine, like I said, we did uh, play four matches and then you let the guy know who won. We have a Slowpoke, a Mudbray, which is one of the cards I used. We had Delibird, a Wishiwashi, a Jenga Momo, a Fighting Energy, a Madchoke. I wish I would have had this one. We had a Slowbro, a Watchdog, a Reverse, and that's a Reverse Rare Trevenant. So the one match I lost was to this guy. And our Rare is a Rayquaza non hollow Rare, which is a very cool card to have to the collection. We'll put that right there. Uh, we'll grab a Sleeve for this Trevenant, which again, very good card. Um, especially I was playing a Fighting Darkness deck. So like I said, please go check that video out. Like I said, this video will post first, and then that one. We have three packs left in total. Hopefully we can pull at least one Ultra Rare. Um, hopefully a Seeker Rare. That would be amazing if we could do that. 
I'm very excited for this set. It's a great set, uh, at least what I've seen. Um, so hopefully we can pull something good in these last three packs. So we have a Celadon. A Rockruff, which is an awesome card to actually have in a set now. We have a Delibird. Nosepass. Cast Form, which is an awesome card because it's actually back into the TCG. A Metal Energy. A Alolan Graveler. An Altar of the Sun. A Matang. Our Reverse is a Reverse Carvana. And our Rare is... Ah! Woo! Yes! We got the Alolan Ninetales GX. Boy, do I wish I had this in pre-release. Um, maybe I would have won uh, an extra round and went 4-0. But regardless, I had a pretty cool deck. So definitely, again, please check that video out once that video goes live. Um, wow. We got my one of my favorite cards from the set. So that makes me happy. And it's out of the pre-release packs. And I haven't even opened up a booster box yet. So if you guys are excited for Guardians Rising, I'm going to be late, unfortunately, because I will be out of the area for about a month. So I will not be able to film as much as I want to. Uh, but please, 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 guys, don't unsubscribe or anything like that. I will have tons of content. Uh, I will be opening up booster boxes, packs, everything under the sun. Every product known to man for Guardian Rising will be opened. So please, please, please stay tuned. I might be later than other YouTubers, but please don't leave my channel. Stay here for more Gu Guardians Rising and other packs. We have a Bellsprout, a Gligar. I use this card a lot in my pre-release deck. A Patrat, a Snowrunt, Murkrow, one of the one good card for my pre-release deck. A Fairy Energy, Marini, a Fletchender. A Sableye, I wish I would have got this card. Boy, oh boy, this card is ridiculous. I'll read it really fast if you haven't seen it. Limitation, your opponent cannot play a supporter card for from their hand during your next turn. Very, very OP card. We have another Jang Gamamo, and our rare is a Helio Isk. Non hollow rare. So we are down into our last pack of Sun and Moon Guardians Rising. Oh, what a beautiful set. Hopefully we can pull something good from this last pack. Um, maybe it can be something good. Hopefully it is because I need some last pack hype up in here uh, before we have to take a short break from Sun and Moon, Guardian Rising. Let us see what we can get in this last pack. Wormapod, a Machop, which is a great card. If you get this card and you're playing a fighting deck, Two energy, 50 damage, very good. I was unfortunately did not get that. We have a Whalmer, a Stuffle, Phantom, Electric Energy, Rescue Stretcher, which is a cool card. Put a Pokemon from your discard party in your hand or shuffle three cards into your deck. Very cool trainer. We have a Pseudo Wudo, I had this used against me. A Matang, a Tentacruel Reverse Uncommon, so cool card. And our last rare of the video is. A non hollow rare Swillow. That has been it for these five packs, guys. Make sure you do check out the other four packs I opened up. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Uh, like I said, the deck is right here. What I'll probably do is go through it in a separate video of all the cards that I got. And then uh, I'll show you guys a highlight of the actual deck I built. This is all 40 cards. Uh, that I made my deck. The only thing missing out of here is the energies. Like I said, I played a fighting uh, darkness type. Uh, if you've never been to a pre-release before, they are a good amount of fun. Uh, it's cool winning packs and stuff like that. But let us do a, a small recap of what we actually pulled. I am not disappointed by any means. We had a Tentacruel, Reverse Uncommon. We have a Jengamomo. Oh, oh. We had two of those, so just put those both on the side. We had a Carvana Reverse Common, a Trevenant Reverse Rare, which is a good card, and we have the legendary Alolan Ninetales GX, one of my favorite cards from the set, minus the secret rares. Uh, what an amazing experience. Thank you guys so much for coming out, and I hope you do enjoy. Uh, stay tuned for more pack opening, Guardians Rising, all the new stuff that comes out. All the new GX boxes, etc. 
Uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy, and if you did, smash that thumbs up. In the comments down below, let me know which one was your favorite pack art. And also let me know what you guys are hyped to uh, see in future videos. And uh, let me know what you guys pulled if you went to the pre-release or not. And then also let me know how you guys did on your pre-release uh, matches if you did go to a pre-release. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Again, I really do appreciate it. Uh, just stay tuned for that second video. It'll be part two. And not really part two. Part one, but it's coming after this video where we uh, opened up this uh, pre-release box. And uh, I'll probably... Not use that footage just because it was bad, and I'll just go ahead and show you guys everything I thought I got. Uh, if you would like to send fan mail, there's the P.O. Box right there. Uh, let me know that you sent something just so I can be on the lookout for it. Uh, again, thank you guys so, so much for coming out, and have a fantastic day and a fantastic rest of your week. And if you're going to a pre-release, good luck. Hopefully you guys pull something good. Bye, guys.